A presentation is much more casual. Usually it involves visual aids of some type. It could mm. be a slide deck, it could be a flip chart, it could be you're holding show and tell, you know, here's a shoe box, here's a how you organize your bookshelves, whatever, here's your financials. Um, it, and there's usually some type of an interactive component during a presentation. Raise your hand if you're in the audience and you can relate to what I'm saying, you know, something like that. Um, and the speaker wants audience uh, participation. Mm -hmm. We want to hear laughter or raise of hands or see each other nudging each, you know, nudging your elbow or your partner. Um, it's more conversational and less formal to do a presentation. Yeah. Now, a speech, on the other hand, is much more formal and ceremonial, and sometimes it can be involved in a ritual. So some people think of churches, synagogues, things like that, having um, more of a speech or presidential speeches. We've all, mm -hmm. you know, seen those. Um, no audience participation and hardly ever, rarely visual aid. So in a nutshell, that's kind of my summary of it anyway. I like that distinction. Um, I also love that presentations are what we're really talking about because it's so key to getting that no like, and trust factor when you can have conversations with an audience. Um, yeah. and that interaction. And so it's a great opportunity to teach and hold back a little bit something so people want to want to hire you. So what what are your thoughts on that? Oh, I agree 100%. And one of the things I would tell your listeners, especially if they're small business owners or maybe college kids networking or just mm -hmm. um, you know, anybody really, is think about why you're being brought to that particular demographic mm -hmm. that is it your target market are you doing a charitable kind of talk where or are you trying to i think in our case people are sometimes in our industry the home organizing industry the business organizing people might be intimidated to work with us i know i mm -hmm. have had oh gosh i don't want you in my house it's um you'll be you know flipping out going crazy with how much stuff i have or how dirty it is or how you know i whatever they're doing mm -hmm. so hearing a speaker on stage that has a sense of humor and kind of admits her own problems and faults and whatever kind of humanizes them. and it makes i think the speaker more approachable yeah you know um it's funny what you what you said about the the group interaction too like I, I was telling you I had a presentation yesterday and at first I was like a little disappointed because I had four or five clients in the room and people I already knew. But then during the presentation, I got to use them as examples and it allowed me to be less scary to the other people in the room. Like, oh, they worked with her. Oh, OK. So it, it can be nice to um, speak in a room that, you know, a couple of the people or, or you've worked in. So I always look for opportunities to repeat a presentation to the same kind of group so that, you know, there may be opportunity to do that. To normalize people's problems is one of the ways that business people get their foot in the door of, you know, their their target. So, yes, keep that in mind, everybody who's listening. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but that's another great point. Like, what is the problem your business is solving? I feel like if you know that, you can do a presentation and talk on any aspect of your business as long as you're able to tie it back to your what problem you solve. Right. And that's part of branding, right? That's yeah. what we're putting what the message is that we're putting out there and put out there what you want to solve for people. So if you're standing up on stage, know before you go, you know, there's a lot to talk about that, I'm sure later, but um, that that's a big part of it. You're correct. 